Hello, everyone. Welcome to our masterclass. Um, I'm so happy you're here and I'm so happy and I will jump right into it. Um, I'm so happy that Rachel Zoe is with us and um, I know you're all super excited about this as well because I got so many messages. Um, Rachel is such an um, icon and to me always someone I, I thought was extremely cool and um, the more I'm so amazed and happy and excited to um, see her and to chat with her today about everything, lifestyle, kids, skin, um, sports, everything. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you so much for being here. So happy to be with you. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. So far away. I know. You know, I had to leave LA. I was so happy in LA. I was really, um, you know, it was it was nice to quarantine in Los Angeles. It was very it's great. It, it, it is honestly a really ideal place for a very bad situation because you can be outdoors all the time, which is a major plus. Outdoors, yeah, and it's spread out and the kids have something to do. I, I, I remember Pepper was really happy to, to be there and, you know, we have more space in LA than we have in Germany. Yeah. So it was, it, it, was, it was totally nice. But now I'm back to Germany, back to the office. Back with that dewy clinic. skin, with that gorgeous fresh skin that you always have. I just, <laughs> it's all my products. It's all my products. And I had, I had the pleasure to have a facial today. And just so that we um, can um, give facials. And I was, I was um, trying the summer facial today, which is actually really amazing. But only for, in, in, in New York, the store is closed. In Los Angeles, we're going to open. Really? But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much ready to go, but the problem is, you know, the lockdown, yeah. and I think yeah. it would be all, only curbside pickup at the moment, but yeah. we're ready for getting into facials and everything. It's a beautiful space, by the way. You will love it. So exciting. So exciting. I'm so excited about it. It's, I mean, well, you know, I'm such a diehard fan, so. Yeah, you're such a sweet supporter. I always, I always love you for just always talking about the products, but I also know you're like super passionate about stuff and, you know, especially us, you know, we're coming into an age where we really, where it really matters what we put on our skin and we cannot just play around and, oh yeah, if this product doesn't work so well, it doesn't really matter. You know, you can do this when you're young, but when you're getting a little older, you want something which actually works and shows on your skin. Yes, a hundred percent. And I, you know, and I see this and I, whoever is listening, I want to say that I, I do not work for Barbara. I do not. I just want to I say I'm, I am a natural obsessed advocate for the products because as someone who, you know, I'll be honest, I, I get sent a lot of things over my career and you know, I often joke, like I could open a Sephora in my house at any given time. And you know, I'm constantly going to your products. I'm constantly like, it's amazing. It's just, it, they really change your skin. Like they really, I never got more compliments on my skin than when I started using your products religiously. True story. I know. I know. That's what I, that's what I love. You know, um, when I started skincare, I basically, I did it for myself and for my patients, you know, yeah. and then, and then it worked for me so well, for, for my patients so well. So you know, we went on that report. Long short, story short, you know, I felt like everybody loved the product so much and people come back to me. I get compliments for my skin. I never got compliments for my skin. And that's, you know, if you get on the Sturm routine, you, I promise you will get compliments for your skin. It's, it's just, it, it works. Everyone kept asking me what I did. They're like, what did you do? What did you do? Your skin, your skin, your skin. I never got more. I was like, and I kept saying, I, I swear to you, it's Barbara Storm's products. It's you, it, it's, 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 it, I always say, I say it's skin changing. <laughs> and it could be super simple. I mean, often, yes. you know, um, we have no time, you know, we have to deal with the kids and, sure. and you know, you have your business, I have my business. So we, we're like, bam, bam, bam. It, it got to go fast. And often I just really grab my Hyaluronic Serum in the morning and my face cream and done. And it yeah. already, it, that's already it, you know? That's what I do. I, I have people say, oh, do you do like a two hour regimen? I'm like, are you insane? I don't have 30 minutes. Like, no, no, no. I have to do like fast and efficient and 
and and done and and go that's it and that's you know sometimes you you sit somewhere and you do a quick snapshot or you do a selfie with someone and you think oh it's um you know long into the day it's probably whatever you skip it always looks good it doesn't matter if you do it in the morning your routine and then you take a picture in the afternoon it's still your skin shows so i think it's really um important to take good care of your skin and what my whole approach is is basically um giving the skin hydration taking stress and inflammation away from your skin by the serum, right? yeah and also like exactly the calming serum and the whole idea of not harming your skin and your skin barrier function you know not adding ingredients which could harm your skin lots of products just have um, a lot of ingredients which do that, you know, and they don't pay attention. So, and we pick um, ingredients which are anti-inflammatory, which are telomerase activation, activating, which are super antioxidant. We, we look for the right ingredients in, in, in the products. And I don't do compromises on concentration. I do, don't do compromises on um, the, 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 the quality of the ingredients and the reliability of ingredients, my products. And, you know, I do the same for the kids, you know, for the kids line. And, um, I don't know if you have this for, for, for your- uh, Yes, we love it. Are you kidding me? I love it so much. That was like, that was like the golden treasure that came. It was sort of like, oh my God, my kids can have this now. It was, it was great. I mean, it's, I'm, we're, we're, we're huge fans over here. It really has made a difference. I mean, it really, really has. And I, I, I always tell people like, we're just friends. She never asked me to say anything. I, this is, I'm speaking from my heart. These products are incredible, you know? And yes. they, they really, and, and I do agree with you because you do, you do feel, I, I mean, for me, like when I travel, I take, I mean, in my old life, but even just, you know, when we were traveling in July, just locally, I would never leave without my travels, you know, because I know if I'm going to take one bag of something. I know I'm good if I take my little serums and my eye cream you know, and I'm great. And it really does work. I mean, you, my skin is always like dewy and shiny and hydrated. And that's always been my thing. Even before I met you is everyone always says, what's the most important thing? And it was hydration, which you hydration. would call it. And, and it's so interesting. So you start like this, you know, I started like this whole anti-inflammation, hydration, and I put a lot of weight on hydration. And I feel like we cracked the code on hydration because when I try to find a product to hydrate my skin, I couldn't find any, you know? And I was like so surprised that, you know, hydration is the key to healthy skin because hydration, like, you know, if you use your hyaluronic serum or your super anti-aging serum, for example, you know, if you okay, use that, it's proven to um, strengthen skin barrier function. And, you know, the skin barrier is our fortress of the skin of our body, you know, it's protecting us. Things can't get in, other things can't get out. And this, this um, structure needs to be respected and to strengthen because otherwise we run the risk of, um, you know, getting skin problems or health problems even, yeah. you know? Um, and especially right now with viruses and bacteria, we want to be extra careful what we do to our skin. So hydration is so important also for our cells in order to take on active ingredients. I always say cells are like grapes or raisins. You know, a raisin is a dehydrated cell sure. and a grape is a hydrated cell. Sure. And a dehydrated cell doesn't have the surface with the osmosis channels to take on active ingredients. And the grape does have beautiful channels to let in active ingredients. That's why it is so important. And you know, one of the aging the reason why our skin gets wrinkly and uneven and all this kind of stuff is because our skin barrier, um, this fundament, you, skin barrier is like a very locked system, you know, very tight and, and that's why it looks young. When we get older, it leaks and, you know, stretches and that's why we have wrinkles. Yeah, it's like so annoying. It's so freaking annoying. And then when it stretches and leaks, then the moisture gets out of the skin. So instead of, of, of destroying our skin barrier, we should actually make sure we keep it young and really tight and everything, you know? And that's why, you know, the ingredients match this um, criteria is to do that, you know, strengthen skin barrier function, keep it young. So we really want to prolong our use and that's what it does, you know? And um, you don't have to, you know, chase anti-aging ingredients, oh. you know, like, you know all this crazy stuff which really strips your skin to the grounds 
it does totally the opposite in a way, you know, I don't know. Do you use any like, um, acid peels and stuff? No, because, because I'm really, it's funny. The answer to that is I've never done one. And I think it's because the concept for me is very hard to swallow. Like it's, I understand what it means and what it does, but the feeling of that would probably really scare me. That feeling of like my skin burning off. And I understand that it's getting rid of dead cells and all that. But for me, it's almost like I want to take the approach of healing and strengthening what I already have. Um, you know, I come from a family, my, my mother has the most beautiful skin, but my mother, you know, she has this most beautiful, healthy skin. And I did a lot of sun sunning as a teen, as much as my mother would like throw a towel over my head and say, stop doing it, stop doing it. I'm paying, we all did it. Yeah. I'm paying for it now. I really am. But I have to say that, you know, it's funny in quarantine, <laughs> you know, I really didn't see or do anything like, like most people for like 90 days or something like that, but I was using your products religiously and everyone I would see and everything I did on camera, everyone kept saying, what's your skin routine? What's your skin routine? And I have to say, I do not know what's in it, but that anti-aging serum has literally oh. my skin. And I'll tell you what else, the night serum, the night serum has two products here. Okay, I didn't, by the way, I didn't even know that. Just so you know, I just, for whoever's watching, this was not prepared at all. <laughs> I actually did not know she had those. I wasn't, this is totally off the cuff. Um, My favorite. This is not scripted, but these, these <laughs> products, as someone who, I'm not 25, but I want to say that, you know, I'm also not someone who has a lot of time. I mean, probably next to no time. And, you know, you have time to use these. And the one thing is when I started using these, I asked Barbara if um, the time that you needed between serums, and I believe you said like less than a minute, like 30 seconds, right? Or something, maybe I'm wrong, yes. you can correct me. Yes, yes, but yes, 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 I yes, you're right. I was like, okay, I got this, <laughs> calming serum, hyaluronic acid, like, and that's, that's my routine, honestly. I mean, it's, it's no, really, you're so, you're so smart in so many ways. First of all, I think, um, you know, we, we have it in life in our past. We have some experience, you know, we tend, we did all these kinds of things and we, we see what's happening. And you said correctly, you know, um, that the concept of burning your skin off, um, and I quickly want to talk about exfoliation because exfoliation yeah. is such a big term, yeah. you know, yeah. and we talk about resurfacing and over exfoliating and all yeah. this kind of stuff. And, we got to be really careful with this because number one, there are three forms of exfoliation. The first one is a facial scrub, mechanical exfoliation, dead skin cells, fine. Number two is the enzyme cleanser, the powder you mix with water, yes. enzymes gently take off dead skin cells. The third form is an acid peel, which not only takes off the dead skin cells, but also takes off healthy skin cells. That's, That's why- sense. That's why sometimes you think, oh, you do it to get rid of acne scars or pigmentation or whatever. So you take off healthy skin there. So what happens now? You know, um, people say, you know, or um, marketing says, oh, you um, accelerate the cell turnover, which by the way, you don't want to do. But also you create immature cells. The cells you create fast, they don't have the quality you know, and they're very vulnerable and they have no ability to protect your skin. Right. And moreover, by damaging your skin barrier function, which you do with the acid peels, right. stressors like sun and pollution and the HEV light, bam, bam, bam. What happens? Aging, hyperpigmentation, cancer. So it's that the concept is totally like wrong. They're, they're you know? taking the protective layer off, right? So then exactly. it, it exactly. felt like to me instinctually what that sounds like, even when you say acid peel, to me that feels like burning and it feels like you're taking protection away, but more importantly, you're then making your skin more easily exposed to something that can truly damage it. It's like making it raw, right? And it's like, that, that's exactly. what it sounds like. It's raw. Means. It's red, it's, it's burning, it's on fire, it's wrong. I imagine you would sunburn more easily after that, probably. Well, no chance you would survive um, any, any sun, any sun. It's, you really, 
you really it's like you're like a burn victim after that yeah, that's that's how, it, that's how i see it in my head which is why i would never do it and people are yeah saying, now and now you can buy it you know you can get it on the, at the behind the counter you can go to any store oh let's get um an acid peel here and a glycolic peel here yeah. and a retin-a peel here and i it's just very very dangerous you know but look at your skin you got it all right you know and um you 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 make smart choices and the super anti-aging serum it's it's amazing it's basically like the hyaluronic serum but has um anti-aging more anti-aging ingredients in there and one ingredient which is actually really amazing is called glutathione and glutathione is a super powerful antioxidant but it, what it also does it down regulates the um tyrosinase and tyrosinase is an enzyme which is responsible for the for the hyperpigmentation spots. So oh. you basically prevent and help to um, loosen pigmentation with that as well. So this is great um, for sun damage, number one. And the Repair Night Serum is also amazing um, for damage you know, from, from sun. So it enhances your own repair mechanisms throughout the night. To I, use them both. I use them both. Yes, me too. Okay. Me too. One and two. And then I use my face. You use the calming serum too, no? I love the calming serum. Me yeah. too. But in order, but in order, I'll tell you what I do and then you tell me if it's wrong. <laughs> yes. I do night serum as the last product on my face. Is that correct? Okay. So I ideally, ideally what you do is that you put the clear serums first because right. if you start with the clear serums, you basically, you get the hydration going, but you also make sure that ingredients in a water solution, which is a clear serum, gets brought into deeper layers quicker and better. Got it. So if a the calming serum- and calming first. No, you do the hyaluronic, you do the, the I mean, you do the super anti-aging is the hyaluronic serum first, okay. then you do the night serum, then you do a calming serum because the calming serum is a lipid it's a little it oily. Feels it. feels it. Yeah, so it's that's why these serums with this, um, you know, high concentrated power ingredients, you put first on your skin. And Got then it. the lipid phase, the lipid phase, you, you, you do hydration first, and then the lipid phase is like the calming serum or the face cream okay. or the glow drops. These come after, or the sun drops. You start with the clear serums and then the others. The one exception I would say is the um, lifting serum. The lifting serum is the last one. I do you, do you have the lifting serum? Yes, with lifting serum. Are you kidding me? That's like a miracle product. I know. I That's know. actually a miracle product. I'm telling you, when I got that, that went on my face in like a matter of 30 seconds. I was like, because don't we all want to be lifted? Like, we all just want to walk works. around. Oh my God, I, I actually use that in the morning as well. Yes, that's what you want to do. You want to, you want to, you know, and this is the only exception. This is the clear serum you put after your face cream and your sun drops. That's the last, the last step because it creates a matrix, it lifts. And you know, the beautiful thing is you can put it really close to your eyes, all the serums really close to your eyes and it really fills in fine lines and wrinkles right there and it blocks your, it's just insane. And I like, love it for guys. Whole, like it, it literally like, it, it's, it's so good. I also think one thing that a lot of women do and I know that I neglected it for many years is to put these on your neck as well. Correct me if I'm yes. wrong. Yes, okay. neck, decollete and yeah. hands. Hands I know we neglect our hands. Always. I, I neglect my hands. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, always think about doing the whole also the back of the neck. The back of the neck is good mm -hmm. to treat. I totally forget about the back of my neck. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. But it's like it's a good it's a good reminder, you know, when you do your whole routine that you go all the way, you know? And, I have and one skin question that I think a yes. lot of people um, have. I know a lot of my friends do, and there's some um, debate about it. In order of like regimen, should creams go last or first? Last. That's what I thought. Of my course. instinct is last. My instinct is last. 
It's such a good question. It's such a good question because, so you have a cream, yeah? yeah. And it's, it's multitasking. A face cream can do a bunch of things. It hydrates, protects, anti-aging, has an oil face, everything. It's a multitasking product, yeah? yeah. And if you don't use serums, whatever, just use the face cream. But if you want to target different things like anti-aging or clarifying or uh, night repair or hyperpigmentation, then you want to have these power tools, these serums with, with a high concentrated, very um, amazing um, construct of um, of ingredients which can be brought into your deeper skin layers very fast and it can't do it when you have your face cream on first. It needs to go on the skin first to be really super effective and then as I said clear serums first then the lipid serums and then your face cream. Okay super like super helpful and then the eye cream last. Yes I we say eye cream before face cream right. but you know I, I do it as I I, I'm not so militant about this stuff, you know, because I also think we develop our own little routine and I give the toys to play with, but you then also figure out how you want to combine those toys. How do you, you know, sure. maybe, you know, the calming serum I use only two days in the week, you know, I, I'm just like, I, I, I mix and match how I think I, 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 I I want these products right now. I'm not always using too many products, you know? Yeah, sure. What I always use is the anti-pollution drops though. Yes, yes. yes. When, I was, when I was traveling a lot and going to New York constantly, that was like my saving grace. Yes. Walk out everything on the street, everything in the air, everything. It blocks out even um, acne breakouts, you know? Mm -hmm. Some people who get like this pollution acne, it really helps with it. And you know, there's this other ingredient which helps to block out the light from the phones, the HEV light. So when you are on Zoom calls, always put the anti-pollution drops on. Huh. Look at that. Um, I don't think people think there. about that. I really don't. No, I know. I know, they don't. It's so important. I tell you, the HEV light from the phones is short wavelengths. It's super aggressive. It penetrates the skin super That's aggressively. So it's same dangerous like sun, same. And without we don't talk sun, about without it. Without the suntan. <laughs> yeah, and we, talk, we don't talk about it. So you don't even get a tan. So what, what is I this think, for? Uh, honestly, you should talk about that more because I really think as we, as someone who does know, for me, skin has always been instinct. I'm not educated in it. It's something that it's just, you kind of watch what works, you feel it for me doing the serums and then the cream for me was instinctual because it felt like I was sort of locking in what I put in that was like going in deeper. And then the cream just felt like it was that last layer to kind of lock it in. I yeah. cream something funny enough. I apply it throughout the day because I hate the feeling of like dryness. I have dry eyes. So for me, just sometimes it's not even if it's not hydrated, it just feels good sometimes to put it around your eyes. It like wakes me up. Um, but I, I, you know, for me, I just think skin is like your, that's your barrier to the world, right? That's your, that's, that's, you know. Exactly. It's also, you know, it's funny, even in like a work from home, it's all people see, you know? And I think that for me, someone who has a brand and whatever, like, obviously my skin would be important, but even if I was like living in the middle of nowhere, like my skin for me would be so important. And Hydration for me, it's funny. People always go, what's your skin pet peeve? Dry skin. That's literally like, I can't, I can't deal yeah, with it. Yeah, that's what you see. You know, that's what you see. And it's like, you're also in an aesthetic business. You know, by the way, I'm always, I've always been obsessed with your style. And I, oh. I have the most beautiful pieces. Even I, I still have like all the collections because I love it. So it's so timeless. And I, you know, whatever you're wearing, it's like always, oh, always so true. But it's like, you know, how we represent ourselves and how we, we want to look in the mirror in the morning and out, see ourselves. So if I look in the mirror and, you know, my skin is dry or I have redness or breakouts, I'm unhappy. If I, if my, my clothes look shitty, I'm, I'm unhappy. So we want to have something which makes us look better and confident, you know? Exactly. It's confidence. Ultimately it's confidence because 
I will say this, and I've worked with very high profile people for my whole career. And I have to say, clothes, as much as I love fashion, clothes are part of, you know, wh what you put out there. It's a big part of it. But your face, your skin, that is the thing that I would say, hands down, my clients are the most um, militant about really, because it's, this is, is you, right? So yeah. your expression, the way you talk to people, what you put out there, and ultimately you have to take care of that. You have to, you have to invest in this. You have to. It doesn't matter what you do for a living, but that is what you put out. And I think if you don't nurture that skin, I mean, it's, it's all you, it's the only skin you have, so you have to take care of it. And for your kids, I mean, you have to take care of their skin. That's your job because it's up you to know, them. Kids, it's up to you now. <laughs> but with kids, it starts when they're little, you know, it starts if you do the wrong things with the kids when they're little and they're, they're products out there, which have like fragrances oh, yeah. and like, oh my God, you know? And you, you know, and if you go for cheap products in a drugstore, you don't have the right ingredients. You have like, you sure. know, because you, you've got to take care of your kid's skin in the right way. And if it's just a milk bath, you do it home for them, you know, sure. you just, um, you, otherwise you create like an early ages eczema allergies. Um, you know, you, 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 you already disrupt skin barrier in early ages and you create a foundation for problems later on when they're, when they're older, you know? Yep. So, so super important. So let's be good to our skin. Let's love our skin the best, the best um, we can, because this will pay off for sure. And you know, it, you don't need to have many products. You can have like, you know, if you have the hyaluronic serum on the face cream, perfect. Yeah. You're good. You're good. You know? Also your lip. I love your lip. Oh my God. Did you see the mini? Charlie, do you have the mini lip balm here? Oh my God, we, we, oh my God. Rachel, you need to just check out, we have a new web, web shop. It's, it's drstorm.com and um, I created the candy shop. You know, the last time for the Oscars in LA. Yes, had, that was amazing. Yeah, we had these little yes. So I said, I want this on the web shop. I want people to just grab their candies, sure. you yeah. know, and put it in a bag. And it's so cute. And That's we have so all cute. these like, so now we have the tiny lip balm. That's so cute. I mean, it's so easy when you can throw stuff in your bag or your pocket. It just makes it that much easier. I would send you a few. It's they're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. Should we talk? Are there um, anybody who wants to to chat with us and have some questions? I have a yes. bunch of questions yeah. here. Too. We have Brittany there for us to actually talk to. Brittany, hi, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Oh, I can't hear her. Can you? No. I think she's on mute. Brittany, are you, are you mute? Yes, I believe I was. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hi. 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 I was Hi. just saying your candy shop is so cute. And I have the little mini night serum and I just got it in the mail. And I was like, oh. It you is. would be so, so happy. Cute. You would be so I, um, happy. <laughs> I'm a fan of both of you, obviously. Um, a very uh, big skin you know, care enthusiast of Dr. Sturm. I pretty much have everything now, almost. <laughs> but oh that's my God. Only because, you know, I I just turned, uh, well, there's a balloon behind me somewhere, but I turned 32 um, on Sunday and I never that's was birthday. confident in my skin. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, and my birthday present was looking in the mirror and being like, I don't really, need to wear makeup today and I don't think I'm going to tomorrow and it started and then I just didn't put any back on after I started just using pretty much just the Sturm Glow Essentials um which has now been about three months ago I do have this skin food I just started using it I do my well so my first question is I have the darker skin tone line I have I did do the peels, sadly, and sun. Um, and you know, like you've said in the past, <clears throat> I'm 32 and when I was young, we didn't have you. <laughs> like we didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't have like someone saying like, what By the way, I would just like to interrupt and say 32 is young. So when you're saying when yes. I was young, you are young. <laughs> <laughs> We're like sweating. No, oh you're, God, yeah. 
a young girl, a young girl, very younger, very, very younger. True. Yes, very true. I am very young. Um, so yeah, I sadly did that very, very young, and you know, um, I got the spots and. I really have very big craters, I almost call them, because it's like huge te texture marks. But, um, you know, now that I have been using your line and everything, I've been using the darker skin tone line. And I love, 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 though, the regular moisturizer. Is it okay to use like the darker skin tone hyaluronic serum with a regular face cream? Or is the darker skin tone face cream really going to help that darker skin tone hyaluronic acid serum? So if that makes both, sense. Both both is correct. Both okay. is correct. You can okay. you can mix it, you can put it together as you wish, but oh obviously, you know, the ingredients in the face cream um, complement the ingredients in the hyaluronic um, serum as well. well so, cool. Yeah, correct. you double up you get extra benefits from from this cream because it's also extra anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, but also happens um, helps to even out the skin tone. So I yeah, but I love it. mix and match whatever um, you prefer. I was just curious because, you know, just, just in case, you know, you travel and you only have say, you know, the regular hyaluronic serum instead of the darker, um, which I only have the darker, I've always just purchased that and um, love it. So I figured I'd ask just in case. And then my one other question that I'll let you go is Rachel Zoe, what is your favorite Sturm serum? If you had to choose one, what would you take with you always? And to age. And uh, <laughs> Thank and you. It's hard though. It's a toss up. But I, <laughs> no, I agree though. Anti-age or night serum, one of the two. Yes. Yeah, anti -age. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And lifting. Well, oh, yeah. Of I course. need to try that. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. I'm such a big fan of you, Rachel. Thank Watching you for so long. Thank, thank you. you. And Sturm. Thank you, Dr. Sturm. Thank nice you so much. Nice to see you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your night serum. Let us know what you think, okay? I will. Thank you. I will. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Next, we have Deborah. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Hi. 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 Oh, your skin looks good. By the way, I was going to say her skin looks great. <laughs> thank you. Um, my question is, thank you so much for seeing me. Um, my question is how to address multiple issues. So I have some hyperpigmentation here. I have little breakout, this new thing happening around my nose, and then aging, um, which I just, I am 42 and started getting carded two years ago. I feel like my face is just like falling in on itself. So <laughs> how to address all the issues at once? Okay, so that's a loaded question, but you're not alone. Gratefully, um, thankfully, you're not alone. We are all in the same, in the same category. We all have like our little um, problems, and you know, what's really amazing is the darker skin tone line because it um, tackles the hyperpigmentation issues. It helps with the breakouts, and then you can combine. So you say, let's say you use the cleanser, the foam cleanser from the darker skin tone line, the enzyme cleanser from the darker skin tone line, um, the hyaluronic serum, and then you maybe add in the brightening serum. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also zone your face. If you have like, let's say breakouts more in the area of the chin, then you um, can use in this area, the clarifying products, you know, the clarifying serum, the clarifying face cream. Sometimes breakouts only come and go. And then there are times when you really don't even have breakouts, then you can go back to just the normal product so you can mix and match but all the products are extremely anti-aging and then if you want to really um help with anti-aging and hyperpigmentation you definitely should have the super anti-aging serum and the night serum for mm -hmm. night yeah um hyperpigmentation is um the combination of the darker skin tone and the brightening line so we can really tailor make you um a concept of you know whenever you need certain 
or, or want to address certain problems, but definitely I would always use the products of the darker skin tone line, always the super anti-aging serum and the night serum. And um, yeah, for the breakouts, the spot treatment, you know, when you experience like a little breakout and lots of us right now throughout the mask, uh, because of the mask, wearing yeah. the mask, you know, we get breakouts in weird places, just put the um, spot treatment on. You know, it's so amazing how it works. And we have it in different shades, but also in a clear version. So you can also have it without tint for, for, for throughout the night or, you know, if you don't want to cover up anything. Yeah, this Was this too confusing? Is... No, not at all. <laughs> this thing is so crazy. And it's like traveling up under my eye. And I just have no idea this contact. What is that? What? I don't I know. Don't like... Try so dry like, oh okay i think it's dry oh. skin but i am not a doctor don't listen to me <laughs> no 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 it's it's definitely dry but it's also it looks like um perioral dermatitis and the best way um to get rid of it is actually not putting anything on it mm. for a while and then it will heal itself um, I wouldn't start treating the skin with cortisone and antibiotics you know for everyone out there if you have something don't just attack your skin with like those ingredients because it uh, will damage your microbiome and then your skin barrier function are damaged. So try to um, heal first with ingredients like hydration and um, um, also, sorry, <laughs> I got a call. <laughs> and, and really be good to your skin instead of um, attacking with harsh ingredients, you know? So, so when you um, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. When you're saying don't put anything on it, you mean a aside from your no, skincare? No, if you have like this perioral dermatitis, mm -hmm. you treat your face normally, but you keep out the area. Normally the perioral dermatitis is in this area, but it seems like it's going up for you a little bit. Mm -hmm. So try to um, leave it out for a little bit with your skin routine. Maybe only use the hyaluronic serum on it, but that's it. Okay. And then um, reintroduce when it's gone. Um, this uh, your normal skincare routine. And if it doesn't go away, then I would really check again and see maybe it could be like something else. It could, you know, be an allergy, fungus, eczema. It could be a bunch of things, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you one more question? Yes. Um, do you think that it's better when switching over to your skincare to start very simple and see the see how your skin reacts before you go crazy and get everything <laughs> i would like to pose this question to to rachel but you know my little thing is it can be simple mm -hmm. but my advice is to only use sterm and you could even get like a little um kit you know where there's a cleanser and you have everything yeah, together you get the travel sizes but stick to sterm don't mix with other products because it defeats the whole idea you know um mm -hmm. but it can be simple and then when you fall in love you can go crazy but ask grace she knows better <laughs> no i mean i i would say listen i started slow be only because you don't want to be overwhelmed with your routine mm -hmm. and there's yes. And I have to say, I've tried almost everything. There's probably some new products I haven't done. I'm so obsessed that I've, I now use probably like seven or eight, maybe more. But the truth is, I don't always have time for that. So I would suggest, especially because you're having like a, an issue here, I would say keep it simple and go with her, as she said, the, the, the mini kit first, like of, of the, the regimen, the basics, do that first and then fall in love and then you just keep adding to it but i would say don't mix because i do think that the products while you can use them alone it, it, your skin really benefits the most when you do it as a routine in 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 some type of regimen regular regimen and your skin really thrives on it you know um that's my experience and again i don't work for her i'm truly speaking from my <laughs> my own my own uh experience <laughs> thank you yeah perfect yeah start slow and you know what you also can do and everybody out there 
we do um, free FaceTime consultations with, with our amazing estheticians. I love these people so much. I trust them. They can give you perfect advice. They know exactly what to do. And maybe you want to have another consultation with them to decide really which products you want to start with and go slow and fall in love and then you see. Okay. Because it's, the skin is very overwhelming, you know? I mean, I think as you know, yeah. it's, it's like food. It's like you get so many things presented to you and you're like, what do I do with all this information? And I would say, I'm sure you would agree that most women don't know what type of skin they have or what, you know. Exactly. Like even, I mean, I would think, you know, some people would say, I'm fair. I'm not fair. You know, I'm definitely not fair. But I think, I think we don't know as women exactly what kind of skin we have, you know, super dry, you know, so I, I think that's part of the issue. And I think that's why you educating people on how to treat their skin. And there is one issue that I think would be worth talking about that I have a feeling a lot of people watching this would have experienced, but do you find that women in their thirties get a research of like acne here? And I, I'm assuming it's endocrinology. I'm, I'm sure it's hormonal, but it, it's I never had any pimples in my life until I was in my 30s yes. and now they're gone. But like in my 30s, it was like a real problem here. It's a total, you know, I think this is like a, in our days, this happens. I, I think like 40 years ago, 30 years ago, th there wasn't something like that. I think that's our world is changing our there's pollution, there is like hormones and antibiotics in the meat. There is, um, you know, dairy, which, you know, has hormones, like every food we take, take into us, you know, it's like processed and, you know, we have to really be totally clean and we have to, 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 to treat our skin in a certain way. And yes, so you, you get overpowered with hormones. I mean, lots of um, young kids, get into puberty super early because of that you know they are right. overloaded with hormones artificial hormones super early in their lives so yeah this all changes and that's why there is this um term adult acne you yeah. know um which can come from all these stressors and that's why i created this clarifying line for adult acne which is anti-aging but also helping with breakouts and obviously you know um if it's hormonal in this area, you go and um, see a doctor and get your um, lab um, checked, you know, your blood checked and, and see what's going on hormon hormonal wise, but definitely change your diet, you know, try to accomplish a few things in your lifestyle, early bad times, you know, when you live in the city, I mean, use the anti-pollution drops, all these kind of things. And, um, and it's important to get this under control rather quickly. So um, you have six weeks to adjust everything. If this doesn't work, um, you want to take probably some pills and some medication to get rid of it right. just because you don't want to risk like scarring and um, pigmentation issues. Huh? Hmm. So interesting. Cause I have so many people ask me that. Like so many yeah. of my friends in their thirties are just struggling struggling yeah it's totally like me, it, it, I'm, in, I'm in my 30s so <laughs> <laughs> yeah you look fantastic <laughs> now you always look amazing to me you're ageless i think you look like this when i first saw you you looked like that you're so sweet thank you but love is blind <laughs> <laughs> oh god Oh, how do we have yeah, someone else? We, do. we have Andrea there, actually. Is she up thank there? Thank you so Andrea. much. Thank you. Bye. Oh, thank you so much. Good luck. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi, Dr. Shram. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm calling from Quito, Ecuador, so quite far away. Wow. Um, oh, amazing. Yeah, but I'm so happy that we can do this virtually now. Some some positive out of COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for the information. To, to be honest, I'm a new customer. So I've just finished, like, I've just started really trying to take care of my skin, um, I guess, outside in, because I've worked a lot on the inside out, eating healthy, taking supplements and um, all, the, all the good stuff. But I guess one of my questions is um, what, I see all these tools for face, um, the kind of things to scrub, the 
kind of electric, the jade roller, and it's really overwhelming. And like Rachel, you said, it's overwhelming to yeah, learn awesome. about your skin. Um, definitely going for the free consultation to get all the strong uh, stuff now. But what are the tools that you recommend um, that you really see an effect in and how do you use them alongside your line um, with, with the serums and, and that, I guess is the question. That's a very good question. And um, there's a lot of stuff out there and there's a lot of focus pocus out there and a lot of things, you know, we can do, which is not necessary. But of course there are things, number one, they're like very traditional things, which are amazing. I mean, um, a couple of years ago, where there was no jade roller on a skincare market, I saw it in, in, in Hong Kong on a, you know, on a, you know, it was like a, like, like a flea market or something. They were selling the jade rollers. This is like a very old traditional thing, you know, and um, rolling your skin or massaging your skin or Julian Dempsey has this. Um, yeah, I love that one. This, yeah, this, this, this gold bar is, this is yeah. cool. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. It gives, like it, it it helps to it, it's like to, kind of vibra it, it vibrates and it yeah, yeah it's it I, I love this one too it's very Good. cool and it, it it stimulates the um the growth factors in the fibroblasts in our skin which we need in order to um get our um elastin and collagen up and keep our skin firm so these tools i always like i also like a very traditional face massage you know they're um face massage you can do to yourself at home and these things they're stones and uh, rose quartz and I mean there's a bunch of these things when it comes to real machines I mean there is like the infrared sauna and infrared light and that's all good um I I I, I can't say if it's um scientifically proven but it definitely doesn't hurt I find I find you know we can do things where we first of all have to verify does it hurt our skin, you know? And we should never do anything which burns, which hurts, which, um, you know, aches. So really stay away from everything which is too aggressive. But, um, you know, there's this uh, microcurrent, new face kind of things. That's really nice for the skin. And you see, you know, an effect right away, but that's I'm all stimulating just... tissue. Yeah, that's, these things are great. So, um, yeah. Um, what else is there, Rachel? I agree. I mean, I think for at home, I think that ones like you're talking about, I think it's really almost like it, what I say about skin, at least for me, it's instinctual. It's like, do what feels good. And, and to that point, like it goes back to the acid peel. I can't fathom doing that. So it's like, it feels like I'm burning my face. So to me, that's not natural. So I, I, I think that that's weird. So I think that um, to the extent that you can use these things, and I just, because of lack of time, even though I probably should just do them while I'm on calls, but they actually do help. They, but I have found it, and maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know that it's cumulative, meaning it, for me, it's sort of, okay, before I do a red carpet or a photo shoot or something, sometimes if you do those like lifting tools and it helps kind of blend product in sometimes, but it feels good. But other than that, like it does, it does give you a little lift and a pull and a tightening. But I wouldn't say that like, I mean, again, I'm not a doctor, but for me, I found it to work in that moment, you know, yes. like before an it's, event. It's for that moment. Yeah, right. it's 100% agree. It's for that moment. I don't think it's like, this is going to change I, your skin. Yes. <laughs> No, one hundred thousand percent agreed. So, um, and one thing you just mentioned, I want to um, just tell you not to do these cleansing brushes. You know, everything yeah. which brushes your skin and tries to get dirt off is a yeah. very bad idea. It really um, can hurt your skin and um, can cause um, you know ruptures in your skin and also brushes the dirt in so i wouldn't do that i also don't like makeup wipes the same same idea use our cleansing foam and wash your skin um yeah and you know when we age i think i still believe i you know if we want to do something more effective um in that space you want to get some fillers and botox at a certain age you know i think that's that's still something which lasts quite a while and, and gives you like this little um, 
feeling yeah. and lift and you know <laughs> I, I still I still I'm yeah I still like doing that you know yeah no th thank you that helps a lot because it's an investment so I think I'd rather invest in the actual product and then yeah. Do yes. made, made roller, but not go all out with. The I, whole I, I would agree with that decision. Yeah, great. Cool. And do the stones and these rollers, you know, and put the okay. rollers in the fridge. And you know, there are also we we do the summer facial, and we have this ice sticks, you know. Um, yeah. They're they're like little round glass things with a with a you put with the they, they look like. I need to send you a picture. Yeah, but you can get those. You put them in the fridge and they're cold and then you can massage it. It's nice, you know? Um, so keep it simple and, um, you know, massaging is always a good idea. Great. And Thank check so out much. the Julian Dempsey, Julian Dempsey um, yes. gold bar. It's a good one. Yeah. Great. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll post on my Instagram and stuff to be the first uh, Ecuadorian client of Dr. Strzok. <laughs> <laughs> I love but, that. <laughs> but thank you very much for your time, uh, Rachel. So nice and Dr. You. Bye. 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 We have one more participant, um, and that's Luke. Charlie, can you come and say hi? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't want to get a camera. I'll say hi for Hi, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> hi barbara hi rachel hi. 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 oh my god you look stunning you're so cute yes i'm all um barbara Dar barbara Sturm oh my god is this the most cozy sweater oh my gosh it's amazing i like whenever i'm home i mean now that we're quarantined i it's like it's all so I wear. Cozy. Rachel, do you have our sweaters? No. I need to send it to you. They're oh, so really? I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I would send it to you. We, we even have shorts and it's, it's very cute, like getting yeah, cozy at home stuff. <laughs> yes. So true. Um, my question was, uh, what would be the ideal nighttime skin routine for men? Um, I'm pretty... Um, I have acne coming back. Unfortunately, I had, I was on Accutane a few years ago. Um, and it's starting to come back on the sides of my face. I don't know if that's because of just wearing masks or, um, I'm not sure. The mask is probably the mask. That's I tell where you the mask. Because of where it is here. Oh, yeah. It, 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 I get breakouts from it. I never get breakouts. I, but it, this mask is if you have to wear it a lot and you don't rehydrate your skin on a regular base, um, it's a problem, you know, because it, it causes friction on the skin. Really good under the mask, by the way, is the calming serum. You know, That's what I've been doing. Calming. Yeah, very good. Very good. Have, by um, the way, you know, I'm so happy you asked this question because number one, um, and, and, you know, I have a husband who, who never was into skincare and now he's a total obsessed, um, you know, overuser of everything, you know, he's masking every day. It's like really loving it because he gets all these compliments for his skin. But, um, you know, the skincare is made for women and men, for everyone, for old and young. The skincare is for all of us. It's a family skincare products and, um, they, they, they should be used by everybody. So obviously the men's skin is a little different, you know, and you shave right. and you, you have more irritations going on. So when you shave, you know, it's always important to hydrate after. Don't use alcohol. Like, you know, this like old after shave ideas. That's yeah. totally obsolete. So have like your, your hyaluronic serum after you shave or your calming serum that you don't have to um, deal with irritations and inflammation and ingrown hair and all this kind of stuff. So um, that's true for, you know, for, for, for women and men, you know, we, we use the hyaluronic serum, use the calming serum, we use um, in the evening, the super anti-aging serum, the night serum. So um, you could do that too. And if you have um, a few breakouts, um, the clarifying serum, you switch the routine in these areas a little bit. So Charlie, that's why she doesn't want to be in front of camera. Has a little breakout right now here, so she's like, she's like, I'm hiding. She's hiding. So, but oh you no, know, 
So when she has Hi, any breakouts, she switches to the to the to the clarifying stuff, you know. And then she uses the right. clarifying serum, the fa clarifying face cream, and um, in this area, but the rest she treats with you know the normal skincare. And you you use and especially the especially the spot treatment. The spot treatment has, has, is a game changer for me. Like during the day, um, I'll, I'll always apply the spot treatment, and then I feel ten times more comfortable leaving the house. Um, and much more comfortable in my own skin and it covers it but it also heals it at the same time so it's not like a you know like a foundation or concealer where you're worried that it'll just make the breakout worse which is great so spot treatment and the clarifying serum the clarifying face cream which face cream do you use right now i use your <laughs> clarifying but um i actually going back to another participant that you had earlier i think her name was deborah um she said you know she was using too many products of yours at once you know i wanted everything yes. and i think that kind of um disrupted my skin Too and much. my skin wasn't used to it so now i've just gone to your darker skin tone uh cleanser uh darker skin tone hyaluronic and clarifying face cream and then at night, I'll just use your night serum and clarifying. I was gonna say your skin looks really good. Um, oh, thank you. Well, I, it was it was like. Well, I was gonna ask if, if Roger uses any of these. Okay, so here's the thing. I well, first of all, I was gonna say to your point to Barbara, like I smell a men's line having to happen very soon. A, but B, now that she said that it's it's really for any skin type, that that totally defeats my my point there. But um, the truth is, if I can get Roger to use two things, that's amazing. Um, but he started using her face cream. And I okay. slabbed on the eye cream. And he's like, babe, my skin so is good. shiny. And I was like, yes, it's called hydration. This is a the sturm glow. Understand. It's the sturm glow. But so for him, it's like trying to get him into a routine is probably impossible, but even just getting the, 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 the face cream on him and the eye cream is amazing. So, yeah. but I would say, I mean, A, you look very young, but B, your skin looks amazing. And I, from where you're saying you're breaking out here, I would a hundred percent bet it's a mask because that's right where it hits, yeah. but you have to wear a mask. So I would I, I would recommend that you use her, her anti-pollutant drops and probably calming serum. But again, I am not Dr. Sturm. So don't listen to me. No, but you're an expert. You're 100% correct. Expert. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can only tell you what I think. I can't tell you what I know, if that makes sense. But really, you're- <laughs> That's what we want. We want what you think. I think you're, you're to it's experience, you know? It's great. Yeah. I mean, I will say I have used your. <laughs> I will say I have used your anti pollution drops recently, and I feel like it has kind of cleared up the. Uh, I don't even know if it's acne or, I don't know what. Do you sit in front of the computer a lot? Um, yeah, mostly. <laughs> yeah, because that this HEV light we were just talking about, this HEV light is quite aggressive and it can cause breakouts as well, dryness and in and, and, and uh, the HEV light. Your skin doesn't look dry. Your skin looks super dewy. One question: Do you have more oily skin or dry skin or combination skin? It's totally a combo. It's what? It's a combo. A combination. It's a combo. Okay, so. That, that can also that you maybe um, want to treat, you zone your face. If you have like dry areas and oily areas, you treat the dry areas with a lot of hydration and um, stronger face cream. And the T-zone, you treat, you know, a little differently and you treat that with the clarifying cream. You can also do that, that you just really separate the areas, you know? Okay. Okay, great. Try the spot treatment. Um, that has uh, the, the tea, tree, tea tree oil in it, yes. right? Yes, it's so good. I love it. I actually, I, I even use it sometimes under my eyes. But, you know, again, I never use anything um, to cover up anything just because I, 
I, I don't. But um, if I sometimes feel like I need some, you know, light, I use it around my eyes. That's how okay. I only want to use my product. I love that you don't use anything to cover anything. That's amazing, by the way. Who are you? I love that. <laughs> Thank I, you I guys know, so just... much. I love you, Rachel. I love you, Barbara. You guys oh, are you're so sweet. You look gorgeous. Just, yes. Thank and you. Yeah, I'm sh sh film your routine. Show us your routine. I want to I wanna see more of you. Yes. I know we've been uh, kind of messaging on Instagram a little bit, but um, yeah. I'll send you some more. Yes. Bye. All right. Thank you, guys. Mwah. Good Bye. to see you. Thank Goodbye. you. <sighs> Rachel, you're the best. Aww. It's so fun. I could talk to you for hours. Oh, thank um, you. You're, you're, you're so chic and glamorous and Aww. knowledgeable. And, right you know, back I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy to see you. And I hope um, I get to see you in person. I know. Let me know when you come back to LA. One question. Are you going to the Hamptons at all or no? You know what? <laughs> I really thought I'd be there for August. I miss my family so much. They're there now. Um, but honestly, it's right now. I mean, the way that they have immersed in their lives right now, it's just kind of like leaving would really be disruptive. And I think it's best to just kind of stay local for now, you know? Yeah. Um, Smart. So I, I don't think so, even though all my friends, my New York friends are literally living there for the whole year. They're just staying there. Um, so we'll see. You never know. I may just, we'll see. But for now, this is staying here feels right. You know, we go with the flow. One more question. What's your anti-inflammatory moment? I need to ask you this. How do you, um, wind down and just relax for a moment and take time to yourself? Are you doing that? I will be dead honest with you. It's almost never. I would say the extent of what I can do, especially, it was always like this, pre-kids, post-kids, but then once you added quarantine on that, my alone time begins at like 10, 30, 11 at night. Um, and then and you fall, fall asleep. It's, it's, well, no, to be honest, it's terrible. I, I really go to sleep very late because then when my alone time starts, sometimes I'll just take like, a 20 minute shower, you know, because that is so calming for me. Um, but the truth is like, not a lot sitting in a really yummy robe, um, watching like a Hugh Grant movie or something would be like a dream, you know, but probably would happen Sounds around. Amazing. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Okay. I, I, I would do that. Actually. I will watch a Hugh Grant movie soon. It's a okay. good idea. Yes. Now, now we'll like remove all of your life stress. It's such a good movie. Yes. Yes. Let's, let's, let's. Thank you so much. I love you. I, I miss you so you. much. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Big kiss. Enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your summer. What's left you of it? You too. Yes. Bye.